Hi friends, welcome back. It's Tuesday again, and you know what Tuesday means. It's time for nine, okay? Last week, we talked about sublimation printing. We took out our Epson 2760. We switched out the ink in the machine. I stained my carpet a whole lot. <laughs> and I believe that that's where we stopped. Um, so this week, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the basics of sublimation again, and I am going to actually set up the printer on my Mac, and I'm going to print something. So you'll actually watch me print something and the materials that I needed to do so, the programs that I used and how I set up my printer. But before we get that started, if you like my content, please go ahead and like and subscribe. So we're having a whole lot of fun and I'll be right back. I'm Nye with Ellie and Mac. Let's go. <laughs> Sublimation is when you use liquid ink printed onto sublimation paper and then that image is turned into a gas by the use of heat. Heat turns ink into gas, that gas impregnates whatever you're sublimating and that image becomes permanent onto that item. Okay, so here's my printer, all full of ink and ready to go. I plugged it in and then I pressed the power button. You can press the up or down arrow to change your language on the screen and then press OK. If not, you can do it a little bit later on if you like. Then a message to see the start here sheet appears on the LCD screen, press OK. On the next screen, press and hold the question mark or help button for three seconds. There will be a message that says to start initialization. That's going to be on the LCD screen, then press the start button. That's going to start charging your ink or pulling your ink into the machine. It can take like 10 whole minutes. Go get yourself a PB&J, maybe a glass of milk, kick back and hang on a bit. It's gonna be a minute. Once your printer is done initializing, you're gonna be prompted to load paper. Make sure that the printer is done charging the ink. All you have to do is open the flap in the back, pull the tabs to the sides, load your paper and pull out the output tray. Select the paper settings on the product's control panel. Make sure you select the right settings. Some papers will pull more ink than others, and you will learn that with sublimation. It depends on the type of sub paper, what selection you're gonna choose for your uh, paper settings. I went with bright white and letter. Install software at www.epson.com. On this page, you will find the Drivers and Utility Combo Package Installer. Go ahead and click Download. Remember you'll need internet in order to connect. Go ahead and select your wireless connection. You can choose wireless or connect by USB if your computer is very close to your printer. After installing, click on the Install icon. Are you sure, Nancy? Your computer will ask you this if you're sure. Yes, I'm sure. Finally, it's lots of waiting. So you click to continue, and then you have to agree to their license or they won't let you go any further. It's a lot of scrolling and a lot of reading, and I won't lie, I was bored to death. So I just scrolled and click continue. Then it asks you again. You must agree to the terms of the license agreement. Ah, oh, fine, click agree and then install again. Epson Customer Research Participation Software, you don't have to do it. I clicked yes, but you don't really have to. Go ahead and put in your sign-in credentials and then wait again for the drivers and utilities to install. Click Start for Printer Setup. We already charged the ink, so we can click yes and continue. You're going to be using a wireless connection or you're going to use a USB, it depends. We're already connected to the internet, so we can go ahead and click that and continue. Now you're going to be doing network installation, getting your printer onto your network, so continue. Now it's looking for internet to connect your printer to your computer. Searching, searching. Go ahead and add that printer. Find it and select it, click add.
over here is where you will find it. Epson ET 2760 series Bonjour multifunction printer. Scroll down where it says autocorrect. Click select software. And then you'll find your printer here, 2760, and click OK. Then add the printer. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Click. Now you can add your printer. Go ahead and continue. And it's going to ask you to print a test page. Before you can print your test page, it's going to ask you if you want to register your printer. I just went ahead and registered because I just wanted to get it over with. But you don't have to. Yes, complete. Moving on. So you want to open Cricut Design Space. Go ahead and select a template. I went ahead and used a t-shirt one. Select your image. Make it the right size. And then you want to go ahead and have it print. You want to select mirror. Go ahead and send to your printer. Click add bleed to remove that and use system dialog. I use paper sauce, quality high, color auto, paper type, bright white, automatic color, and wha-bam! You have your sublimation example. Yay! I'm so excited about that. Okay, so here I am pressing my shirt at 400 degrees for 25 seconds. Now this top is 40% polyester and 60% cotton, so it's not gonna come out as vibrant as most sublimation prints will, but as you can see, it comes out pretty darn good. Let's see how it looks. Oh, oh, that is gorgeous. It came out beautiful. Look at that. Okay, friends, so now you can see what can be made with just a little bit of know-how. Pretty amazing, isn't it? I hope you are having a wonderful week. I hope that your Tuesday is as glorious as my new top. <laughs> and I hope that you have a lovely rest of your week. I'm going to try and create some more things so that next Tuesday, you and I can hang out and be more creative than ever. Have a great time.